introduction look rahul this robot is walking yes this robot can do many other works rahul do you know the difference between living and non living things ruchika i know only one difference that living things move but if it is true then why this robot is not considered as living children in this lesson we will learn about characteristics of living things objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to define life identify characteristics of living things learn that living things have cells identify that living things grow and develop know about the use of energy by living things identify that living things sense and respond to change discuss that living things reproduce life life is unique complex cellular organization of molecules expressing it through chemical reactions which lead to growth development responsiveness adaptation and reproduction characteristics of living things things which depict growth reproduction ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response are called living things plants and animals both are living therefore biology deals with the study of both plants botany and animals zoology all living organisms share following basic characteristics sense and respond to change growth and development give off waste reproduce living things have cells each living being has a distinct individuality it cannot be broken into two or more independent parts the body of a living being is made of one or more cells cells are considered to be structural and functional unit of life the cells are made of protoplasm or living matter all the body functions and properties of life are due to protoplasm some living organisms like amoeba paramecium are made up of one cell only they are called unicellular organisms made up of many cells are called multicellular living things grow and develop all organisms grow and develop growth results in an increase in size weight and synthesis of new protoplasm in animals growth is limited to a certain age while plants grow all the life the use of energy by living things living being constantly requires energy not only to perform various activities of the body but also to overcome entropy the degree of disorder in a system or tendency to randomness the source of energy is food it is required by every cell of the body food is prepared by plants by the process of photosynthesis plants require sunlight carbon dioxide water and chlorophyll for the process of photosynthesis the living things respire living things require oxygen to get energy from the food they get required oxygen by the process of respiration during respiration oxygen is breathed in and through the blood it reaches each and every cell of the body human beings have lungs for respiration fishes have gills and cockroaches have spiracles living things sense and respond to change consciousness is awareness of the surroundings and responding to external stimuli The ability of an organism or organ to respond to external stimuli is called sensitivity. Living things reproduce. Young ones grow and become mature. They develop the faculty to produce young ones of their own time. Life comes from pre-existing life. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. In the world there are two types of structures: living and non-living living beings are complex entities all living organisms share some basic characteristics cellular structure use energy grow and develop sense and respond to change move give off waste and reproduce the smallest unit of life is cell 
Changes in structure and function of every living being with age are called development. A living organism can be unexceptionally differentiated from a non-living thing on the basis of its ability for reproduction.